Welcome back, everybody. IGN Live at San Diego Comic-Con brought to you by The Evil Within and Lucy. Now I think it's time to take a look at a game that might be the opposite of The Evil Within, Captain Toad's <laughs> Treasure Tracker. Yes. Daniel from Nintendo is here to show us the game. Uh, everyone at, Ninten or at IGN that's played this game loves this game. Yes. What is it? What's the secret sauce? In the, uh, the secret sauce, I mean, it, it, it's, it's taking an aspect from Super Mario 3D World that people got a chance to play and these little side puzzles that existed uh, with Captain Toad, who you see right here, this little guy with stubby feet. Uh, and they decided to take that concept and build it into its own game. Uh, it's, it's, it is a puzzle game, but what's really cool instead of just being trying to apply puzzles, the whole stage is a puzzle. So you'll have the ability to actually rotate around, around, around this puzzle as you're trying to gather uh, gems, which you can see right underneath on the left side, those three empty slots. You're trying to find these three gems and get the star. And when you get the star, you finish the level. Mm. So right here in this first level we're showing up, it, this, this, one, this level looks a lot more like what you might be familiar with in Super Mario 3D World, but we're going to show some other levels that kind of show a lot more uh, differentiation of how this goes through. For the record, this is the one that stumped me last night. <laughs> I, I, could not get the, I, I, didn't, I couldn't get the center gem. Like, I, I, playing this, I'm one of the guys who walked away like, that game was awesome because for ah. me, it strikes me as like we're, you know, VR and motion controls, everybody talks about that, right? But I don't need any of that when I'm playing this because the stick and even moving the gamepad if I want to, are making me feel like I'm in a 3D space with it, right? Because yeah. it's like a puzzle box that you're moving around and like, where is this third gem? What am I missing? And things Ooh. move, so things change, and there, there it is. There Thanks for showing me how easy it is. <laughs> yeah. wow. Thanks, easy. bud. Just making me look like an idiot. I couldn't do that last night, everybody. But <laughs> yeah, now I, I know. I really like the sort of uh, self-contained uh, puzzle worlds that each level has, and it gives you the sort of flexibility to do a lot of different things with each stage. Yeah. You know, and like you'll go from here to another stage that's completely different, sort of in scope and art style and, and characters and stuff like that. Um, and I think it's kind of amazing how uh, underpowered he is. Yes, <laughs> he can't jump, like he's got little stubby feet, so yeah. he just yeah. kind of runs around. <laughs> like Mario would tackle this in four seconds, right? Because right. he, he would just Jackie <laughs> Chan through this whole thing. But uh, Toad's just like, I got, terrified. He can barely run. You have to hold the button and hope for the best. Right, he can, he, yeah, he can barely run. He's got those little stubby feet. He's got that backpack on his back, so he's a little weighted down. So yeah, no, but he's able to move, he move, he move pretty decently. I mean, he's got little speed, little speed behind him as yep. he's running around. And right there, you can see he's actually using the touch screen. He was able to, uh, Gil was able, using the touch screen, he was actually able to touch the enemy to kind of stun him a little bit. And that's how you're able to also get around. So it does leverage motion control, as you mentioned, from the gamepad, and even touch right. control from the gamepad as well. So that's one of the levels we've gone through so far. Nice work, Toad. Now, now my big question is, where does this fall in the Toad timeline? <laughs> is this before Mario Kart 8? Is it after? <laughs> well, bear in mind, this is Captain Toad, so he's not just Toad, it's oh, Captain I'm Toad. I'm sorry, I didn't well, mean to insult him. I didn't I know. want to well, take his couple, rank there, there out is of Toad. Well, there <laughs> is Toad from Mario Kart, who you're familiar with. Yeah, this yeah. is Captain Toad. Okay. Different character. His own little world. I have, I have, I am racist to toads. <laughs> <laughs> they all look they all alike to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a theory, maybe you can disprove mm -hmm. me here, on where this does fit in, in a timeline. So my theory is Captain Toad is going through all these perils and hells to collect these power-ups so he can put them in tiny little blocks so Mario can break them in the game. <laughs> so for Mario to walk down the street and just hit a block and steal a, uh, you know, a star or something like that, he doesn't even think about it. But for Toad, he's like, yeah, I'll go through this whole haunted house for like an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a problem, he gets one thing, and it just falls in the pit when Mario gets it. Uh, <laughs> that is an amazing theory. He, so like, in this world, <laughs> in, in the Nintendo world, Captain Toad is the guy filling the vending machines. Yes. And this is yes. how he gets the things for the vending That's machines. my theory. It's not uh, It's not written in It's not the, airtight. It's not airtight. It's not in the instruction manual yet. But when it is. hasn't confirmed it. Yes. And what's kind of cool here on this level is a little bit different from the previous one. You can see Captain Toad's going through these different doors and popping up in different areas. But what Gil is able to do, who's playing the game for us, he's using the touch screen to touch those blocks and move to different spaces within the, within the world. So as he touches those glowing types of blocks, they keep shifting different locations. So he's able to shift that one block over where that gem is, oh. and now get the gem. Gil's good. He's played a little bit. I'm, I'm officially promoting Gil to Captain Gil. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Gil. <laughs> You'll probably hear about that at the office. Yeah, now. good, I'm glad. <laughs> and then, yeah, here he's being chased by one of the boos, and as again, if you face boo, he, st he stops. Oh. Come on, G Captain Gill. Demoted. <laughs> the pressure got to him. It's a lot Whoa. to live up to. Oh, man. So here, what he's trying to do is move that over, and hopefully he's able to stomp on top of the... Oh, yep, nice. and got wow. the third gen. So he did get hit, you notice, and he did became oh, a smaller version of Captain Toad. Yeah. You will be able to get mushrooms to be able to regrow in size again. Gotcha. So that'll happen again as well. 
so as, as again, you see, and I like your puzzle box description. I mean, as you can see, he's been constantly rotating around the level, finding different ways to get through this. Yeah. And, having, and, and your vision is impaired a bit, because sometimes you move blocks around, and you are constantly rotating to find those little secrets as you go through here. And here he's able to sneak oh, around. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Captain Gill bringing it Captain home. Gill does it again. So uh, what do the coins do in this game? We have Aces are collecting coins right now. We haven't revealed, I mean, beyond showing what the levels do, we haven't really shown much of what the whole game will be. Hence the story element you were asking about and where sure. this really fit into it. Uh, so we haven't gotten to that much detail yet. Uh, so we're kind of starting right now just going through different aspects of the game right now. Uh, so hopefully we'll give you more information on that soon. Do you want to talk about how many puzzles there are? Four so far that we've shown. <laughs> Daniel! <laughs> well, we, we've also, we have actually shown six. There were two we actually showed at E3 during Treehouse Live as well. Okay. So there were some other levels we've shown so far uh, that people can check out. So we can confirm this game has at least six, six puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, yeah. no, hopefully, no. There will be more puzzles to come for sure beyond the original six. On top yeah. of the story, I've also given you an amazing box. Yes. So You're already writing the Captain Toad game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Speaking of which, will this be uh, a retail release or is this a shop on? Both. Oh, really? Yes. Mm. Awesome. To my, to my knowledge, I understand this is a retail release and this will be in store. Cool. And hopefully we'll announce uh, more detail on that soon. As of now, it is coming out It is coming out this year. We haven't given the release oh, okay. on for it yet. That's good news. I thought it was uh, no, 2015. Years. No, no. This will be announced that this will be this year. It's um, a close call right there, by yeah. the way. So you see he's running around through here. He is basically moving around. Uh, and since he, as, you, as you notice, he doesn't really have any way to attack like Mario would. Mario would probably use his fireballs or some way to attack. This is all about trying to move through the level and dodge as much as you can. Oh, and there's one of the mushrooms that had he been hit, he would have been small and re-enlarged again right there. So this is, as you said, it's more about a puzzle. And you can even see like that, the previous level is more of a puzzle block, but this one's more now in a circuit, more of a cylindrical room. So right. it's not as much about the puzzle of moving around the box, but more just trying to move around and be all centered around this boss. Yeah, but it's still cool to be exploring the space like Yes. This. Oh, of course. That's what makes it different. You are still rotating around the space, even as Captain Toad is moving through the level. Dragon Toad is like, I don't know what these coins do, but I'm compelled to collect them. <laughs> or the gem. <laughs> if Mario was here, he'd do this. I'm doing it in his name. <laughs> You see that he's like waiting for the platform to move with him so he's able to stay protected. Cat McGill might actually finish this one. There's the star at the top. Oh, so close. And real quick too, mm -hmm. I'm sure, you, I know you got a lot of people working over there that know how to, you know, make funny translations and do their little funny writing and things. The You're, if you don't movie. have a Captain Phillips joke in here of the, <laughs> look at me. Oh, oh. I am the captain now. You're missing out. <laughs> <laughs> There might be some legal issues with that one. You well, you just steal the line. Oh, just steal it. It's a meme. Nobody's coming after the meme people. <laughs> you could always do a Captain Falcon, Captain Phillips crossover too. You have a captain. You have oh, multiple true. captains in your wheelhouse. There are multiple captains. That's yeah, true. true. Yeah. I believe we're all promoted in different. Well, and you have Captain Gill as well. Captain yeah, Gill now. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're not we're not limited to the very few captains we have available. Now, Actually, now Gill's going at super speed. He's, yeah, he's Gil, Gil's not trying to go through as quickly as possible. Nope. Yeah, no. <laughs> Captain Gill, indeed. Captain Gill. Actually, uh, we have a question from one of our viewers on Facebook Ooh. here. Pull this up. Ooh. Christina Baker, have you ever played the game and not gotten the theme stuck in your head? <laughs> Very catchy little piece. Uh, the theme is pretty much stuck in my head, and more than anything, uh, Captain Toad's voice is the thing that gets yeah. most stuck in my <laughs> head. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> He's like his little sounds that he makes as he goes through the game. Um, and, you know, it, in, the theme does get in my head, the voice, and I can never get over his little stubby feet. Yeah. yeah. And he just kind of... Because <laughs> it's such a different take on what Mario is just saying, that he can't do anything. Yeah. He really is limited. And I think the theme really goes with that, too. There's sort of these kind of puny trumpets that go. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> They're just really kind of pathetic, but I love them. They're very catchy. And it, it just goes with this whole, like, he's just constantly like, oh, God, don't kill me, please. <laughs> <laughs> but he, always, like, even in the, he always has a smile on his face. Yeah. Like, even the upper corner, like his little life counter up there, he's always got a smile on his face. That's just his ID photo. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> It all looks like our driver's license. <laughs> Which is funny, because he, he does get terrified. Like in that in that previous stage we showed where yep. he's with the booze, he starts going, ah, he starts getting a little nervous. In his and life shaking. Hmm? In his life? Not in his life, no. Oh, okay. I, know, yeah, I, know, yeah. <laughs> I was like, dang. The yeah. driver's license photo doesn't change. Great, but okay. his little reaction. But the, the boo's afraid of him too when he looks at him, right? So it's Correct. Sort of like the this, like, Whoop. Yeah, this face off of fear. Everyone's a coward. <laughs> <laughs> Except for Mario. Yeah, exactly. It's Mario. And Luigi. Luigi's just the younger brother who's always trying to live up to. He's got the guts there, he's good. The death stare, yes. Oh, man. What? Oh, yeah. doctor, go, Captain Just Toad. grab it, please. Oh, just go. Oh, no. Oh, now he's, just, he's vanquishing villains without even trying. Yep. One the of those accidental hero. moves he's able to. Fake not. hero. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Toad and Captain Gill working together. 
And you can see that big guy up, and there's Tim. Going for the star. Just get it, please. Oh, Yay, Just he passed the level. It. Good job, Captain Gill. Good job, Captain Gill. <laughs> Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, that's out this year. Yes. Looking forward to that release date. Yes, I'm I know really a lot excited. of people. Yeah, a lot of people are excited for that one. It's really cool. Super cute. I also just love the look of it. Like, it's just yes. a beautiful game. Yeah. Cool. Really, really great. Thanks for bringing it by, Daniel. Sure, of course. Stay tuned. Much more to come from IGN Live here at San Diego Comic Con. We'll be right back after these messages.